What you're about to see and hear is an unusual and exciting theatrical event. I had been in rock and roll a long time, but this was something different. When he first came out and the press got a hold of him, he was going to be the most sensational thing. This young man is the act of tomorrow. From buoyance to the point of craziness. Uh, he out queen queen. Uh, asking me if I'm homosexual like asking James Brown if he's black. Ladies and gentlemen. There was something that was okay about a guy dressing a bit feminine. You know, you could be Bowie or Boland, who were the most beautiful men in the world. The hype was the new David Bowie, even more glam than Bowie. I wanted to be famous. We both wanted the same thing. Tell me some of the business particulars behind Joe Bryant, what you have riding on it. I got my ass riding on it. Jerry Brandt was a serious operator. And I'm a huckster. I'm a promoter. Jerry Brandt changed his life. The big picture was to make us the biggest thing since the Colonel and Elvis. The launch for Joe Bryant was spectacular. They had a gigantic billboard on Times Square. His face was everywhere. Take it over the top. That's my job. He was presented to the world like Athena born from Zeus's head, you know, a full-formed rock star. It could not have backfired more perfectly. Everyone hated him and was gunning for him. Joe Breyer stuck his head in the mouth of the wolf and said, I'm the true fairy of rock and roll. And you could hear glass break everywhere. You can be as gay as you want, but you can't say it. Sometimes the groundbreakers, that's really all they get to do is break the ground. A lot of people who are running around putting makeup on and stuff just because it's cheap. I just want to say that I'm no pretender. Yes, I'm a man.